Thank you very much. And we'll move now to uh, Latrice Nobles. Hello, everyone. And I want to say that I am so, so over the top excited to be here. And I thank you guys so much for inviting me. Uh, this is an amazing, an amazing movement of God. And I totally appreciate it. And I want you guys to know that this is really needed. And I want to thank you guys again. Okay, so um, I'm here and I'm going to talk about um, unity in the faith and in the knowledge. Okay, God has given us all a why and a purpose, and that is to serve others. And I want you guys to know that with him giving us this why and this purpose, he is going to hold us accountable for the things that he has told us to do, the things that he has given us to do. So don't think that we have these why and this purpose just out of happenstance, just out of the blue. No, he has given this to us. This is your purpose. This is your why. And this is what you're supposed to go and do with it. And he wants us to go out and serve others. Okay, so until we reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge, that's Ephesians 4 and 13. And this verse is instructing us to equip believers to serve. The Bible talks about, uh, the Bible tells us that God is going to remember our servings and he's going to reward us at the end. And, and this is something that we need to look forward to. We have to serve others. And when we, when we serve others, we have to do it as unto the Lord. Everything that we do, guys, we have to do it as unto the Lord. A lot of times, you know, we drag into things and you're like, oh, Lord, I have to go and do this. I have to go and do this. But we need to stand in peak state and do everything as unto the Lord. And when we go out and when we serve, we need to do it with the strength that God has provided us through Jesus Christ. All right, guys. And also, God wants us to wake up every morning and step into our purpose. He wants us to step. He wants us to get up and know that, you know what? I have to go out and I have to do all the things that God has for me to do. And you know what? And if we don't do these things, and I know I'm saying it again, if we don't do these things, he is going to hold us responsible for the things that he has told us to do. Okay. Also in that scripture, Paul is telling us that we must live in unity. And that's based on the essentials of our faith. And he's not implying that you need to compromise your faith or the lack of your faith. He's just saying that it has to do with faith. And what is faith, you ask? Faith is complete and total confidence. All right. Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us faith is the certainty of things hoped for and the proof of things not seen. So just, just to say I have faith, it, it, it doesn't work that way. Faith is things that, I, this is just, this can't be real. This, this is how, to me, faith is like, oh my God, this is something that you really, really have to believe something that's not just sitting right here already, something that's not as tangible as just right here. Like this is something unbelievable, but I know God can provide. That's what faith is, all right? And also, God wants us to be able, when we get up and we get dressed in the mornings, he wants us to put on the clothing of service. So that's, I mean, every day. So when you get dressed every day, when you get up in the morning and you get dressed every day, we have to put on that clothing of service. So we're going to put on service when we get dressed in the morning. When I put this shirt on today, I said, OK, I need to put on the shirt of service. This is what God wants us to do. OK, also, Paul is telling us that the focus is to prepare everyone to serve others. This is what we're here to do. We're here to prepare you, to help you become available for God and for others, okay? We must understand that it is critically important 
It is so important to be effective, to have effective service. And what is effective service? Okay. Is to make certain that the role of our service is clear, defined, and aligned, and as well as being able to execute it. So you can't just go out there any kind of way. When we do things for God, we have to do it as unto the Lord. You know, God is expecting excellence. He's expecting excellence. So we can't just throw it together, guys. We can't just get out there and just do anything and say, okay, I did that. God told me to do it. I didn't feel like doing it, but here, here it is right here. And it's not what God wants from us. He wants excellence, guys. And this is why we have conferences like this. This is why we have amazing, amazing conferences like this so that we can learn and we'll be able to move forward in God and do the things that God has us to do. Okay. So also in closing, Paul is telling us that we must grow in maturity. He's referring to spiritual growth. Okay. And that means in, and that means uh, increasing the fruits of the spirit. All right. And uh, the fruits of the spirit is what? Uh, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness. These are the fruits of the spirit. And if we continue to do, another thing I always say, guys, is I, I tell you guys, I am the, the founder of Daily Pink Forever. And when and with that is that you, you're going to learn, we're going to teach you how, if you learn to love yourself, this is it. Once you learn to love yourself, then all this extra stuff is just going to overflow into the next person. And it, it, automatically, you are going to love the next person. Automatically, you are going to be able to serve the next person. Automatically, all the things of God is just going to automatically flow out of you. Okay, guys? So we must remember, we must remember that the end result, the end goal is for us to be full of God. And once we're full of God, all of the other things that he wants us to do, it's just gonna automatically overflow into the service of God. Thank you. Okay, uh, I was talking about how uh, sometimes we have to step out of what's comfortable for us in order to take care of ourselves. And that seemed like a hard gesture for us to do, but we have to decide that we are not going to die here. That means mentally, I am not gonna stay in a place that I am in stagnation, I'm in depression, I am in low, low self-esteem. I refuse to die here. And that's what we have to do, guys, because God wants us to live. That's, that's what he wants us to do. And you know what? We have to remember that resuscitation brings life. And that is what we need to do for ourselves. So we have to take time off for ourselves so that that resuscitation can begin. All right, guys?